Well, joining us now is Nola Ogner Davis with the Polk County Health Department. Nola, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me on. Well, let's get right into this. Not everyone is getting that vital second dose for their Pfizer and their Moderna series. In fact, the CDC reports roughly 5 million people in the U.S. may have missed their second dose within that recommended time frame. So are you seeing that here in Polk County? I think all over the United States, including Iowa and Polk County, we have been seeing people skipping their second dose. And we know that it is incredibly vital for information we know that it is incredibly vital for people to get the second dose because that's what complete the series. We know there's two doses for a reason. That second dose gives you that boosted immunity. So it's incredibly important for our community to get their second dose. Now we know some people are purposefully for, uh, foregoing that second dose. They believe that the first one is simply good enough. But for people who forgot about their second dose and they still want it, can they just come in and get a second one or do they have to start the whole series over? They do not have to start the whole series over. We like people to get that second dose within the 21 day with Pfizer, the 28 day with Moderna, but they will not have to start the second dose, the series over again. So they can just get the second dose and be done with it. And what if they got the Moderna Pfizer first dose and forgot about it? Can they get the Johnson and Johnson shot then as their second dose or do they need to stick with the same brand? you need to stick with the same brand. So if you've gotten Pfizer, get a Pfizer. If you've gotten a Moderna, get a Moderna. If you've got that one time Johnson & Johnson, you're good to go. And what are the plans for Polk County uh, to do walk-in clinics, no appointment necessary, like we're seeing at Hy-Vee now and some other so locations? So we're continuing to do um, our vaccination pre-registration ahead of time. We know that there's a lot of our community partners that are continuing to do walk-ins. So again, we work really hard and closely with our partners. So if they're doing walk-ins, you know, we will continue to promote that. As of right now, we don't know what the future looks like. Will we do walk-ins or will we still do pre-register? Right now, we're still making sure that our clients are pre-registered ahead of time for the vaccine. And we have been seeing demand drop at some of the more rural counties. In fact, 80 of the 99 counties in Iowa refused some or all of their vaccine shipment recently. So is Polk County on that track as well? We continue to vaccinate as many people that want to be vaccinated. Our whole goal right now is anybody who wants to be vaccinated will be vaccinated and we'll continue to make sure and do so until everyone is. And are you still seeing demand pretty high even as we're heading into summer and people are getting a little distracted with the nice weather? We are still seeing demand, but I think it's really incredibly important that if people have plans for this summer that they get vaccinated. We know that everyone wants to go back to vac summer vacations, summer sports, going to the pool. But the only way that you can do this safely is to get vaccinated and get two doses of that vaccine. I mean, we look at John, we look at Pfizer and we look at Moderna and they're both in the 90, like 90s. Moderna is 94, Pfizer is 95% effective. I mean, that is incredible for a vaccine. So the best way that you can have a great summer is by getting vaccinated. And just to remind people at home, you're still asking us all to remain vigilant, correct? Absolutely. We know that there are a lot of different variants into play and we don't know what it looks like if we're not getting vaccinated. So your best form of protection is get vaccinated and it's still those we don't know who is vaccinated. So your best protection against everyone else is wearing a mask. So just dis social distancing and if you're sick, stay home. And only you've been helping clarify things for over a year now with this pandemic. <laughs> we appreciate your time every single time we speak to you and thank you for being here with us tonight. Thank you for having me on.